Coming out of the blue corner in the blue and white of West Brom. He comes to the ring, having weighed 59.9 on the scales, and comes to the ring with a record of 18 wins unblemished. Six of those coming by way of knockout. He is the number three ranked contender in the WBO rankings. He is the Baggies Bomber. Please welcome Tommy Langford. In the red corner, he's wearing the black. He is the number one WBO contender. He comes to the ring with a record of 32 wins, 21 of those coming by way of knockout with two defeats and two draws. Ladies and gentlemen, he comes to us from Georgia by way of Brooklyn, New York City. He is the mini Tyson. Please welcome Avtandil Kurtsitsi. Gentlemen, you've had your instructions in the dressing room. You know what they expect of you. Follow my instructions. Remember, defend yourselves at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck. Right, bye. Well, he certainly loads up this curtsy knees. There's no... Billy Joe Saunders, you see, watching on on the far side of the ring. Langford will have the problem. It's got to be accurate. It's got to hit the target. Because this fellow will look to slip and whip shots over the top. Chakucha. <laughs> yeah, I, I read about that. That's incredible, isn't it? Also, John, is that Langford doesn't panic at any stage. Has confidence in his own boxing. Got to toughen up in this one. And certainly doesn't want to be taking shots in at close quarters like that. He well, was beaten last time, seven years ago by Hassan and um, and Jikan, who is a, a real record. And got this chance. How dangerous this fellow is that with that left hook, but that's better boxing sharp. Can't get lazy Langford. He has a warrior heart though. You'll hear as this fight unfolds that the Kurtzidis corner. Definitely imagine what he was like at that 25. He's caught Langford with that left hand, and again. But that's made Kurtzidis just think a little bit. Put the good shots there from Langford. As they are totally out of bounds John, against this type of a... Again, he's inviting Langford to come forward. Kurtzidis in the closing stage of the... Boxing, you see, clever boxing. Move around him. Kurtzidis strong as... Well, that's why the movement is so important from Langford. Ranked number eight, but unwilling to take on this man who's been avoided by so many others. There are other fights he'd like out there. He'd like to fight Golovkin somewhere down the line. Well, if he's going to, he's got to come through somebody like this first. That's good again from Langford. He's boxing better again, Langford now. Heads clashed. Oh, is there a cut, John? There's a cut above the left eye. Got cut against Sam Sheedy, did Tommy Langford, and he's looking a bit disorganised in that corner. He's getting himself into a toe-to-toe -to -toe slugging, slugging contest at the moment, and Kutzidis is just trying to walk straight through it. Here comes. He needs to keep this man off balance. Throw threes and fours. That's better work from Langford. He's coming forward, and Langford's been able to to, to read the attacks. The feet are far too slow. He's just got a whole centre ring as Langford, but Kurtzidis is still dangerous. Don't get me wrong, but his feet have slowed down, John. And I just wonder whether that's a legacy of the fact that he has struggled clearly to make the weight. He has been stopped before as Kurtzidis. TK. Another good round. No, like I said before, Kurtzidis is... Oh! 
Left off just when we were praising him. He gets caught and he's badly hurt. He's badly hurt. I don't think he's going to get up. Has he? He's been given. Well, look, oh, he's been stopped him. He stopped him. He has stopped him. Phil Edwards looked into his eyes and decided that there was no way. And Avtandil Kersides produces the upset. We said he was dangerous. He believed he was prepared and ready to go on, but he was badly hurt. It's overhead camera here. Oh, there it was there, that left hook. Maybe a lapse in concentration, who knows, but it's a very quick... He doesn't get that right hand back quick enough, does he? He sort of throws a one-two. There's the one-two, doesn't bring the right hand back to the on-guard position and gets caught with the left hook. It's a quite a lazy, slow one-two. There you go, look, doesn't bring it back. And there you, there your man there, he just gets him with that left hook, just jumps in and scores a terrific left hook. Yeah, fair play to him, it was a cracking punch. He is a powerful, powerful man. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure you'd like to show your appreciation for the brave effort put forward tonight by Tommy Langford. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes at 27 seconds of round number five. The referee decides that Tommy Langford in no position to continue, which means that the new interim WBO middleweight champion of the world Aftandil, good city!